Hello, my name is Amelia and I work here at Bicycle Network on the RACV Great Victorian Bike Ride. Today I'll be taking you through some key preparation information for all riders out on the RACV Great Vic. But first up, we've got a bike demonstration from our mechanic, Jake. When you're putting on a helmet, there's a couple of things to remember. First thing, most helmets have a dial at the back of the helmet here, which you can put on your head. Spin the dial so it's nice and tight on your head and doesn't rattle around. Your helmet shouldn't fall off, even with the straps undone. Once you've got your straps done up, make sure that you've got one strap in front of your ear and one behind your ear, and you can slide these up and down to make that comfortable around your ear. And then you wanna make sure that you've still got room to breathe underneath your helmet. So two fingers underneath the strap is a good way to make that work and shouldn't fall off your head. When checking your brakes, there's a few things you can do. Firstly, give your brakes a good squeeze and make sure that they're engaging on the wheel. If they're not, there's a couple of things you can adjust. One is this barrel adjuster here. Screw that out a little bit, should make your brakes tighter. Pending that, the other option is to have a look down here at this. We can use an Allen key to open this one up, squeeze those brakes in a little bit and do that back up again. Now my brakes should be nice and tight. Good thing to know with your tyres, give them a squeeze. This one obviously needs a bit more air. Plug in your valve, give it a good pump. You know you've got to the right pressure when you have a look at these numbers here. Every tyre will have a number on it and that's the pressure you should aim for. So this one is minimum of 40 and maximum of 60. That should be nice and firm on your tyre. So pump it away until your gauge reaches those numbers. Ideally, you're gonna have a reflector and a light on your bike. Your reflector's important so cars can see you coming and your light is required so that you can see where you're going. Also makes you a little bit more visible as well. So just check your lights, make sure that they flash and check that your reflectors are on and facing forward on the front. On the back, you wanna have a red reflector and a red light. Really important that the red light is a flashing one at the back, it makes you far more visible out on the road and make sure that your reflector can be seen from the back, not hidden up under your seat or around to the side. Adjusting your seat to the right height is gonna make your ride much more comfortable. To do so, flick the lever and you want your seat to be up at about your hip height. Then you wanna flick the lever closed and make sure that your seat is nice and tight and doesn't twist at your hip height. Need help? If anyone in your group needs assistance or is involved in an accident on the event, either when out on the road or at the campsite, one of the best things to do is call the event assistant phone line numbers, which can be found on the back of your event passport. Before you call event assistance, ask yourself, is it an emergency? If it is an emergency, call 000 first and then call event assistance. If it's not an emergency, just call event assistance and the team will help you out. Also, don't be worried about doubling up. We're better off hearing about the issue three or four times than not at all. Some common things to call event assistance for. When you need a bike mechanic or sag wagon. When you require non-emergency first aid assistance. If there's facilities that are broken or require attention, such as toilets or water stations. Once you've called event assistance out on the road, be sure to place your bike upside down on the side of the road so you draw the attention of the sag wagon, mechanic or motorcycle marshal. Finally, if you have a medical concern when at the campsite, you can also visit the medical clinic. This is a bulk billing service, however, some services may attract a small fee. Please be aware the medical clinic is unable to provide 24-hour medical care. And be sure to check out your ride guide for exact operating hours. Are you looking for information? There's a number of places you can go to find out information about the event or have your questions answered. The first is the daily school briefings. School specific daily briefings will be held under the ride to school tent in the school's camping area each evening at 5 p.m. Attendance from at least one supervising adult from each school is compulsory. 
We encourage students to come along as well to help communicate any information back to your school groups. Other options include schools coordinator and ride to school team. Both the schools coordinator and the ride to school team are here to help assist your school with any questions or problems that may arise whilst out on event. If you want to have a chat with someone, make sure you head over to the ride to school tent. The team is there to help answer any questions you may have. Event team, identified by their bright blue tops. The event team are here to help you. If they cannot answer your query, they will be able to point you in the right direction. The hub, located in Main Street, the hub is home to the Bicycle Network team who have loads of information on event, community activities and other general queries. Making the most of your ride. To ensure all riders have a great time out on the road, there's a few rules we ask that you observe. First and foremost, remember that the RACV Great Victorian Bike Ride is a ride, not a race, and normal road rules apply at all times, even when riding on roads with changed traffic conditions. You must also follow instructions from the police, traffic controllers and the Bicycle Network event team. Ride no more than two abreast, avoid crossing double white lines, be aware of your surroundings. Communicate with your fellow riders. For example, call passing when passing another rider or stopping when stopping. Also, be sure to point out any hazards you may see on the road. Make sure you ride in a straight line and only pass to the right of other riders. Leave plenty of space between you and the bike in front of you. Keep left and use shoulder and bike lanes where available. Be sure to have moved well off the road before dismounting your bike. Key tips to get you through the day. When removing pedals, crank front, span it back, push down. Remember, back off when you are taking the pedal off. You push the spanner towards the back of the bike. Rumble stripes. Take care when riding over rumble stripes. Leave enough space between you and the bike in front of you and communicate to your fellow riders. Change gears before the hill, not halfway up, and keep spinning. You should aim between 70 and 90 revolutions of your pedals per minute. Rest area etiquette. To ensure our rest areas operate efficiently, please follow all martial directions, especially in relation to dismounting. When stopping at a rest area, communicate your intentions to stop, pull off the road before stopping and keep the road clear at all times. Whether you are a first time rider or a regular on the RACV Great Victorian Bike Ride, you must always follow the directions from the en route support team. And lastly, please apply sunscreen 15 minutes before exposure and stay in the shade. Well that concludes our RACV Great Big Preparation video. Thank you all so much for watching and we hope to see you out on the ride. Until then, happy cycling!